In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. peace be with you. And with your spirit. I'm sorry I'm late. Um, it was totally my fault. Not, but uh, we'll make up for time, all right? So I promise. As we uh, gather together today, we celebrate this uh, confirmation, uh, this asking the Spirit to, to bless these young people uh, in a special way, making them missionary disciples of Jesus, uh, we recognize our need and our reliance on God's mercy and forgiveness. I confess to Almighty God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, what I have done and what I failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary of a Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty and merciful God, that the Holy Spirit coming near and dwelling graciously within us may make of us a perfect temple of his glory. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Be seated. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, no one can say Jesus is Lord except by the Holy Spirit. There are different kinds of spiritual gifts, but the same Spirit. There are different forms of service, but the same Lord. There are different workings, but the same God, who produces all of them in everyone. To each individual, the manifestation of the Spirit is given for some benefit. As a body is one, though it has many parts, and all the parts of the body, though many, are one body, so also Christ. For in one spirit we, we were all baptized into one body, whether Jews or Greeks, slaves or free persons, and we were all given to drink of one spirit. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord, send out your spirit and renew the face of the earth. Send out your spirit and renew the face of the earth. Bless the Lord, O my soul. O Lord, my God, you are great indeed. How manifold are your works, O Lord. The earth is full of your creatures. Lord, send out your spirit and renew the face of the earth. If you take away their breath, they perish and return to their dust. When you send forth your spirit, they are created, and you renew the face of the earth. Lord, send out your spirit and renew the face of the earth. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Glory to you, Lord. 
On that day, Jesus went out of the house and sat down by the sea. Such large crowds gathered around him that he got into a boat and sat down, and the whole crowd stood along the shore. And he spoke to them at length in parables, saying, A sower went out to sow, and as he sowed, some seed fell on the path, and birds came and ate it up. Some fell on rocky ground where it had little soil. It sprang up at once because the soil was not deep, and when the sun ro rose, it was scorched, and it withered for lack of roots. Some seed fell among thorns, and the thorns grew up and choked it. But some seed fell on the rich soil and produced fruit, a hundred or sixty or thirtyfold. Whoever has ears ought to hear. Hear then the parable of the sower. The seed sown on the path is the one who hears the word of the kingdom without understanding it. And the evil one comes and steals away what was sown in his heart. The seed sown on rocky ground is the one who hears the word and receives it at once with joy, but he has no root and lasts only for a time. When some tribulation or persecution comes because of the word, he immediately falls away. The seed sown among the thorns is the one who hears the word, but then worldly anxiety and the lure of riches choke the word, and it bears no fruit. But the seed sown on rich soil is the one who hears the word and understands it, who indeed bears fruit and yields a hundred or sixty or thirtyfold. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Be seated a moment, please. Bishop Mark, it's good to have you here again, and uh, you bring great blessing to all of us, and we're so glad to have you here. And uh, as we for the great sacrament of confirmation for our teens this evening, and uh, who have studied, they have prayed, they have reflected, and they have done good deeds, right? You have, good, yes, you have, okay? And they're accompanied by their sponsors as well, who uh, help and strengthen them, and uh, their parents as well, who also witnesses to what is good. So this evening, Bishop Mark, I present to you our candidates for confirmation. Please stand. Confirmation candidates. Thank you. Great. Thank you very much, Brother Mike. Uh, you may be seated. Uh, during this time of, uh, of COVID and uh, with so many of the other things that are going on in our, in our church, in our community, in our world, um, we've really come to look at church in a different way, I think. I mean, especially uh, from my part, going around to different parishes and, and uh, seeing how uh, creative different parishes are in, in uh, how they're celebrating masses, you know, not being uh, able to use a church building. We usually think of church as a place that we go to on Sunday. Um, well, well, I haven't gone into a church other than to just pass through it on my way to where uh, really church was happening uh, outside, whether it be, you know, in a, in a courtyard like uh, you have. Uh, I've been on uh, just plain blacktop parking lot. In fact, in one place I had the, uh, the altar was, was in the uh, handicapped parking space. I was a little worried about getting a ticket from where I was standing. Um, there was a one place where uh, we just had it on, a, on a, one of the fields um, at the school. Uh, so the people didn't bring chairs. They just they brought blankets out. It was like uh, kind of like their own little picnic that they would do in the in the field, I mean, they've just, it, 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 some places have had covering, some places are in the hot sun. I mean, they've done it every way that you could think of. And, and it, it really uh, it has, has strengthened in me the realization that church isn't the buildings. Buildings are very practical and nice to have, but the church is all of you, uh, all of us. And, and this church is really a beautiful church to look at. 
Um, in, in a special way, as we celebrate confirmation, we, we focus on what it is to be church, and that is to be people of mission, not a static building that stays there at a, at a, a given address, but a living, breathing person uh, who is mission to share the gospel, the good news of Jesus to a world. And, and we really live in times, I think we always live in times when we need good news, uh, news that God loves us, that God takes care of us, that, uh, that, that God's uh, uh, redeeming and forgiving um, grace is always present to us, and that uh, even in the midst of, and maybe especially in the midst of, of difficult times, uh, God is leading us into his kingdom where uh, we are made holy and whole in his presence. Uh, so today we pray in a special way for these candidates for confirmation that, that God's spirit uh, guide them, that they um, take up that mission um, as missionaries, uh, messengers of God's love and grace, uh, that they carry with them and be strengthened by the spirit uh, so, so that the, the world can see in them and in us as church uh, the good news. Uh, we pray for the Spirit's gifts to enable them, to strengthen them, to enlighten them, uh, to be better witnesses, uh, apostolic, prophetic witnesses of the gospel. Uh, when you, you were baptized, your parents and godparents brought you to church. In your name, they made a profession of faith. And so today, as you uh, take up this completion of your sacraments of initiation, uh, we ask you to renew those promises, uh, professing your faith in God as Father, Son, and Spirit. And so I'd like to ask our uh, candidates for confirmation to please stand. And to the following questions to respond, I do. Uh, we begin our profession of faith, our renewal of, of baptismal promises, uh, by a renunciation. We renounce Satan. Uh, we renounce uh, evil. Uh, all that is, we empty ourselves of all that is not God so that we can fill ourselves with all that is of God. So do you renounce Satan and all his works and empty promises? Do you believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth? Do you believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was born of the Virgin Mary, suffered death and was buried, rose again from the dead, and is seated at the right hand of the Father? Do you believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who today, through the sacrament of confirmation, is given to you in a special way, just as he was given to the apostles on the day of Pentecost? Do you believe in the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body and life everlasting? This is our faith. This is the faith of the church. We are proud to profess it in Christ Jesus, our Lord. Amen. My friends, uh, family members, sponsors, uh, those who are watching this on uh, live stream, uh, we pray for these uh, children of God, sons and daughters adopted, already born again uh, to eternal life in baptism, that God graciously pour out the Holy Spirit upon them to confirm them with his abundant gifts and through his anointing conform them more fully to Christ, the Son of God. Almighty God, Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who brought these your servants to new birth by water and the Holy Spirit, freeing them from sin, send upon them, O Lord, the Holy Spirit, the paraclete. Give to them the spirit of wisdom and understanding, the spirit of counsel and fortitude, the spirit of knowledge and piety. Fill them with the spirit of the fear of the Lord, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen.
Nicholas, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Amen. And peace be with you. Clara of Assisi, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Amen. And peace be with you. And with your spirit. Damien of Molokai, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. And with your spirit. Nicholas. Be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Walter, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Patrick, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Thomas More, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Catherine of Siena, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Luke, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Sebastian, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Let's congratulate our newly confirmed. I invite you all to please stand as we lift up these prayers. For these sons and daughters of God, Confirm with the gift of the Spirit that they will give witness to Christ by lives built on faith and love. We pray to the Lord. The Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For the Holy Catholic Church, for Francis our Pope, Jose Gomez our Archbishop, and for all bishops, priests, deacons, men and women, that they may continue to be open to the gift of the Holy Spirit. We pray to the Lord. The Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. For the leaders of all nations, that under the guidance of the Holy Spirit, that they may work together for the good of all people. We pray to the Lord. The Lord hear our prayer. For those who are sick, homeless, poor, unemployed, and for all those suffering because of coronavirus, we pray to the Lord. The Lord hear our prayer. For all in medical research, that they may find a vaccine to bring about healing and hope for our world. We pray to the Lord. The Lord hear our prayer. For all of us, that we may act in word and in deed to help heal our country of violence and in racism. We pray to the Lord. The Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For those prayers we hold in the silence of our hearts. We pray to the Lord. The Lord hear our prayer. Good and gracious God, hear and answer these prayers that we make, trusting in your care for us. We make our prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Oh, breathe on me, O breath of God. Fill me with life anew, that I may love the things you love and do. Oh, breathe on. 
Pray that my sacrifice and yours be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. And may the Lord accept the sacrifice in your hands for the praise and glory of his name, our Lord and through all his holy church. Sanctify, we pray, O Lord, the offerings made here, and cleanse our hearts by the light of the Holy Spirit, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. Ascending above all the heavens and sitting at your right hand, he poured out the promised Holy Spirit on your adopted children. Therefore, now and for ages unending, with all the hosts of angels, we sing to you with all our hearts, crying out as we acclaim. Indeed, holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness, make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, he broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. For through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, 
as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not in our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with and with your spirit. Spirit. Let us share with one another a sign of Christ's peace as you are able. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy. worthy. You should you should enter enter my room. Room. Lord, say the word, and my soul shall be. Till all creation 
Let us pray. Accompany with your blessing from this day forward, Lord, those you have anointed with your Holy Spirit and nourished by the sacrament of your Son, so that with all trials overcome they may gladden your church by their holiness and through their works and their charity foster her growth in the world. Through Christ our Lord. Congratulations to our young people who have uh, received the great sacrament of confirmation. The sacrament of confirmation, the coming of the Holy Spirit, and how it's going to touch your lives. And uh, you're going to make the world a better place. And the world is already a better place because of you here tonight. And you will carry that spirit with you wherever you go. And as you do, you will make it a better place for yourselves and those who will come after us. So we thank God for your journey in the Sacrament of Confirmation preparation, uh, Jessica and Manny and the catechists that have been part of your life, and your sponsors now also who will continue to uh, witness to the faith as well. And may you all stay in good health and mind yourselves, be careful. God bless you all, and thanks again, Bishop Mark, for being with us. It's always good. The Lord be with you. May God the Father Almighty bless you, whom he has made his adopted sons and daughters, reborn from water and the Holy Spirit, and may he keep you worthy of his fatherly love. Amen. Amen. May his only begotten Son, who promised that the Spirit of truth would abide in his church, bless and confirm you by his power in the confession of the true faith. Amen. Amen. May the Holy Spirit, who kindles the fire of charity in the hearts of disciples, bless you and lead you blameless and gathered as one into the joy of the kingdom of God. Amen. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your lives. Thanks be to God.
giver of immortal gladness, fill us with the light of day. Call us to rejoice in Thee. 